Hi guys, I'm John and this is Geography is Everything and today we're going to look at the idea of plate tectonics and the plate tectonics theory. First we need to talk about the structure of the earth and a good way to think about the structure of the earth is the structure of an apple. Mm. It's good. It's a good apple. Healthy. So, like an apple, our earth has a core and this core is super hot. Actually, as super hot as the sun. The surface of the sun to be precise, okay? Also, it is made of iron and nickel and is solid. So it's unlikely we're gonna find dinosaurs and other weird creatures down there if we burrow down. Next, we find our outer core. And this, again, is incredibly hot, but this time it is molten. It is also made out of iron and nickel. The mantle is the thickest part, being approximately 2,900 kilometers in thickness. It is made up of molten rock um, that is either liquid or semi-plastic, okay, and that is called magma, not lava. M lava is when it is found on our surface. Magma is when it's below the surface. And finally, like our apple, our earth has a skin. We call that skin the crust. And like the skin of an apple, it's quite thin. Actually, in some places, it's zero kilometers in thickness, i.e. it's open. And in other areas, it can be up to 80 kilometers in thickness. We have two types of crust, oceanic crust and continental crust. Oceanic crust tends to, and it's a good way to think about it, have oceans on top of it, but not always, but tends to. And continental crust is kind of what we stand on, what we live on, the stuff that's above the sea. So terra firma, what we stand on is continental crust. Our oceanic crust is thinner and denser and dominated by basalt. Our continental crust is less dense and so thicker and is dominated by granite. So as we said, we have two different types of crusts and the Earth's crust is broken down into plates. It was once believed that the convection currents in the mantle slowly move the crust around. It's now thought that a mechanism called slab pull drives the movement of tectonic plates. Slab pull occurs where older, denser tectonic plates sink into the mantle at a subduction zone. As these older sections of plates sink, newer and less dense sections of plates are pulled along behind. Sinking in one place leads to plates moving in other places. The movements of plates and the activity inside the Earth is called the theory of plate tectonics. The movement is due to the Earth's crust being broken up to pieces called these plates. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the plate tectonics theory. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to make sure you get updates of new content that I regularly upload. And please don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to make sure you catch up on any new content that I might upload there too.